Hello everyone and welcome to D20 in Disguise, your source for expertise on world building, storytelling, and miniature making. Now I know you all have been really enjoying my World Anvil tutorials, so today's video will be covering how to manage your campaigns using World Anvil. If you do end up enjoying today's video, then please be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you want to see more content like this, then don't forget that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my uploads. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Welcome to D20 in Disguise. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to cover is how to create a campaign in World Anvil. So first you're going to want to be on the create page of your world in World Anvil. Then you're going to want to scroll down to campaigns and characters. So you can see all of your current campaigns and your characters in this little box right here. Now I have reached my limit for how many campaigns I can have running in a single world, but if you haven't created any campaigns yet, then this will have a button which says create a campaign. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Too Soon a Warrior, the story of Rising Legends as our example campaign. Now once you've actually opened up your campaign, there are quite a few things to look at here. We can see home, protagonist, PCs, NPCs, parties, plots, sessions, primer, settings, guild features. And it's quite a lot to take in, but we're going to take this one step at a time. First, you can see that World Anvil has already created a quick tutorial for the campaign manager, and I think it's a very good idea to watch that video in tandem with this one. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and dismiss that tip. Let's start by working our way over all of these different options on this bar up here. So let's start with PCs player characters. From here you can actually allow your players to create characters in World Anvil and then give them this invite code and they can actually join into the campaign. Very nice to keep track of the backstory and the stats and all of those different details of their players right on World Anvil. It's very nice. Moving over from there to NPCs, this is where you can actually create different articles four NPCs in this campaign. So let's go ahead and create a new NPC. First name, let's say uh, Haral. Last name, Smith. NPC portrait, if you have an image of that NPC, you can go ahead and just import it right here. I don't have a portrait for this NPC, so I'm just gonna skip that for now. In three sentences, describe this character whether physically, mentally, situationally. So we're just gonna say, Haral is a tall and grizzled half-orc ranger. He lives in the far north, a extremely snowy and treacherous region of the order of wizardry. He has no family and prefers to stay away from others. There we go, quick little description, so that if it comes down to it, you could just role play the NPC off of these three sentences. Hidden storyteller notes, if this NPC has any secrets which they're keeping, this is the place to put them. So let's just come up with a secret for Haral. Let's say, interesting little secret, if the players were to find out about that, they definitely would find it interesting. Just something to throw in there to spice things up a bit. 
And then their status as like an adversary, an ally, a helper. What is their disposition towards the player characters? Are they friendly? Are they hostile? Are they indifferent? What's their role? So let's say that he is going to be a neutral party. He doesn't really care for the player characters. He's just indifferent about them. And then their status is visible or hidden. If you have an NPC which you don't want the players or the player characters to know about quite yet, you can just select hidden and they won't be able to see that NPC. But we're gonna just select visible. For the heck of it, let's go and scroll down to additional details. You can link a character article, you can tell their current location, make a character sheet for them, but the character sheet depends on what system which you're using for this campaign. Let's go ahead and save those changes and we can see that Haral Smith has been created as an NPC for this campaign. Let's go back to the main campaign page and move on to parties. We can see the description says parties allow you to organize your PCs into smaller groups. It will also allow your PCs to track their quests, common items, and treasury. Oh, also they are completely optional. This is very nice. Staying organized is so essential as a GM, and this helps so immensely. So, for the heck of it, let's create a new party, just to test out the process. Let's start with name. Let's just choose a generic name, The Fearsome Adventures. Perfect. Short description. In an actual campaign, you just give a short description of the group, of the party. But as this is a test, I'm going to skip it for now. Characters, you can choose out of all of the different characters, all the different player characters which are in this campaign. As I said before, players can make their own World Anvil accounts and use the invite code which you give them to add their player characters to the campaign. It's very seamless and very nice to have. We're going to form that party and we have the Fearsome Adventures. And when you actually have player characters in this, they can keep track of inventory, their adventures, and it's just very nice. Moving on to plots. Now I have actually created a few plots for this campaign. I have two master plots and two adventure plots. Now the nice thing about these plots is that you can create adventure plots, you can create overarching plots, you can organize it however you want. If you want a massive overarching plot which covers your entire campaign you can do that but if you want just a tiny little plot for maybe even just one session sure and you can organize those so that oh you have the overarching plot and then you have all of your different adventure plots under that and then you have all of your even smaller plots under each of their respective adventure plots and it's very nice very organized and very useful Moving down the line to sessions, this is the tool which you actually use during the different sessions of your campaign and you can actually play through these sessions on World Anvil in the actual session. Now it's pretty simple to schedule a new session. Let's start by hitting that schedule a new session button. From there you're going to want to name it, give a short little excerpt, a short little description. Uh, what time the actual session is going to take place and the different parties which are going to be involved in the session But we're going to go back through and Play through this test session, which I've already prepared for this campaign now from here You can chat with your players. Just go ahead and type something And as you can see it pops up as a message and you can use their custom dice roller a dice roller in this kind of program is always very nice to have, especially during this time where there's not a lot of in-person tabletop role-playing going on. Let's head back to our main campaign page, move over to Primer. From here, you can select all of the different articles which might have prevalence in the campaign. So you can select different maps, different NPC articles, different location articles. Once again, it's just very nice to have all of this in one place. It makes it so easy to just pull up what you need exactly when you need it. 
And now let's move on to the final page, settings. Now this is where you can adjust quite a few settings for the campaign. You can adjust the name of the campaign, the description of the campaign, the system which you're playing the campaign in. You can also give links to Twitch channels or Discord servers or the like which are connected to the campaign and it's just... I know I've said this way too many times but it's just nice to have all of this consolidated into one place. It's just very, very convenient. And that is about all the campaign manager in World Anvil has to offer. Now, of course, there is more to World Anvil. They have an amazing system for creating your own characters in World Anvil. If you guys would like me to cover the basics of how to create a character in World Anvil in an upcoming tutorial, then please be sure to tell me in the comments and I will be sure to get to it. But I think that is just about it for today's video. You all have a great day. Keep on creating, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.